it is the start of September. As you can see, lawn is still looking pretty darn good. I've just uh, been applying my midsummer applications of uh, liquid kelp and uh, green envy. If you haven't seen that video, I'll be sure and leave a link for it uh, down in the description. This uh, summer is pretty brutal. As you can see here, I have fought a little bit with fungus. Uh, you can see along the edge right here. Um, I started getting some uh, damage from fungus. Thankfully, I got that nipped in the bud and uh, the lawn is uh, filling back in as we speak. But uh, aside from that uh, edge there, you can see the lawn is looking pretty darn good. So what we're gonna do today is do our late summer, early fall fertilizer application. And uh, that's what we've got right over here. My favorite mixture of all time. I just love what uh, this does to my lawn. I'm gonna do two thirds of this uh, PGF Complete uh, by the Andersons and uh, mix that with one third of the Turf Builder lawn food from Scott's. All I gotta do, take this uh, trusty tool, it's a drill with an extension on it and uh, this auger piece and uh, watch how good this works. This will mix it up, it'll break up the chunks. It's super easy, here we go. Ta-da! You see that uh, different colored stuff? That's the Anderson's product coming up. All right. I used to do this with the shovel, but uh, this auger makes mixing that substantially easier. This is the Earthway spreader. I love this thing. I love the bucket shape. It really helps funnel the uh, product out. Common question I get uh, is when you mix these two products, which by the way, neither of these companies endorse or recommend. This is just my secret recipe I have discovered works good, but your mileage may vary, so try at your own risk. What setting do you put the spreader on? Well, the prill size of the Anderson's product is just ever so slightly larger than the Scott's product. So I use the setting for a light application with the Andersons. So if we come here to the Earthway broadcast, we need to put it on 13. So that's very easy right here. Just loosen this nut and uh, we back it up. There's 10. So you gotta back this up so that this leading edge lines up with 13. So one, two, three, past 10. Right about there. Let's uh, come back in a week or so and uh, I'll show you the results. Okay, and uh, we're about nine days after that uh, treatment. And as you can see, the lawn is looking absolutely phenomenal. This uh, way too. Just uh, mowed it the other day for some fresh stripes. That uh, combination just is a winner. As you can see, the entire yard is just looking absolutely wonderful. I want to hear from you. Put your comments down below. What do you think of uh, these results? And uh, what suggestions and ideas do you have for the late summer, early fall treatment of the lawn? Uh, you guys are all so smart and uh, have so many great things to share. Uh, I love hearing from you. And please don't forget to give us the like and uh, consider subscribing. We've got one more uh, video coming out on lawn care prior to winter. And uh, that's the late fall fertilizing. So you won't want to miss that. And be sure and check out the playlist of the entire year's worth uh, of videos. It's been a great year for lawn care. And then that way you're ready to go next year. <laughs> All right, we'll catch y'all next time.